Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. Welcome to the monthly general reading for Sagittarius for June 2021. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs, and cross watchers. So just keep in mind, we're in the middle of eclipse season. Mercury is retrograde. There's a lot of planetary activity taking place in June. And things are going to feel a bit intense. Um, expect delays, expect the unexpected. So I'm going to start off with one from the Archangel Power Tarot and we'll move into the tarot and pull some Oracle cards at the end. All right, so what does Sagittarius need to hear, please, for June 2021? What is the guiding energy? Right, Sag. So we have the Ace of Cups. Very nice. A positive new emotional experience, fulfilling romantic relationships, deep and lasting spiritual insights. So it could be going on a new spiritual journey, a new phase in your life, one that feels fulfilling, gratifying, um, things that you have wanted to bring in and do. Could be, even be unexpected. So I'm going to pull some tarot cards. I'm going to pull one for the guidance and three for the situation. Look at this. Knight of Cups. Very nice. So yeah, there's something coming through here, Sag. Some kind of offer or opportunity. Now for some of you, yeah, this can be relationship, commitment, love. For others, this can be something very close to your heart. Something that you've wanted to do. So let's see. I'm going to pull three for the situation surrounding this. Some kind of opportunity here. Let's pull three for this Knight of Cups, Ace of Cups. Yeah, look at this. Wow, Nine of Cups. Yeah, something that you've really been hoping for. Something is coming in here, Sag. Nine of Cups. Wishes, fulfillment. All right, and two more, please. Ace of Wands, look at that. So for some of you, there is the spark of something new. Now this could be creative energy. Notice the paintbrushes and the palette up top. There's a wand, there's music, writing. So this can be something very, very creative. Now with an ace, there is an offer or opportunity, but you must follow through. So it's something new. You have two aces here but there's a need to follow through. So you're given a chance, you're given an opportunity, but it's time to paint the palette and bring it to life, so to speak. All right, I'm gonna pull one more. Wow, look at that, three of cups. I love this reading for you guys. Okay, so this could be people in your community, those that are around you that are supporting you, emotional support. Um, friendships, people who help to bring things to life. So this can represent networking for some of you. All right, so I'm gonna clarify and see where this goes. I'm loving this, this is some really great energy. I haven't seen a positive reading like this in a long time. All right, so Knight of Cups, let's take a look and clarify that. Eight of Cups, Four of Wands. So yeah, you're moving towards a place of stability. The Four of Wands represents fulfillment, creating something. Now it's a four. So yeah, there's still more work to be done, but it's like creating something and reaching a stage of feeling like, okay, I have done something um, important. Something is working out here. Something is coming to life bringing stability. I'm loving this. So like the message of the four of wands is job well done. You have created or are creating a very stable foundation for growth. 
Lots of growth here. And Eight of Cups, you're moving towards this. So leaving behind things that once served you in those cups, but you're creating a new now. So let's clarify this Three of Cups. And then I'm going to pull some Oracle cards. All right. Three of Cups for Sagittarius. All right, so we have the Devil, Eight of Wands, and Queen of Wands. So yeah, the, the Eight of Wands is like a shift in direction. There's a shift, there's a change, sudden or unexpected changes happening, sudden communication. Now, Devil Energy, what I'm seeing, you're looking away from the Devil here. All right, so we have that Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I'm seeing this for most of you as this is you, you know, you're looking away from the devil, you're shifting your perspective, you're shifting things in your life. There is a big, I'll say it for a third time, shift taking place. The devil energy, repressed ways in the past, feeling tied down, bogged down by things, situations, feeling a heavy burden, um, fears, insecurities, just heavy energy. Anything that was no longer good for you. So I see you breaking free from those chains. For some of you, this could have been a timing thing. But yeah, there's a huge shift taking place here. And if in your circle of people, um, you felt like there was that devil energy, like someone was just sucking the life force out of you, I see you moving away from that. All right, so let's pull. I'm going to do one from Monology. Look at this. See? The end of a tough cycle approaches full moon in Capricorn. Don't let pride get in your way, full moon in Leo. So when I see pride um, in this scenario, be open to others. Three of cups, community, obviously those who have a positive effect on you, not the devil energy, but not letting pride get in your way. And then we have balance, spirituality, and practicality. So in this 3D world that we're living in right now, we have the spiritual aspect, but we have the practical aspect. And practical is about taking steps to get where you want to get, right? It's the things that are common sense, common sense approaches, knowing that you have to put the work in to bring this ace to life and to continue motivation. But there's a spiritual aspect as well, so finding that balance. But yeah, the end of a tough cycle approaches. I'm loving it. This is really nice energy. And you got three cards here, so <laughs> that's pretty important. All right. I'm going to pull one from Teen Angel deck, and then I'm going to close the reading up with three love cards since this is general. Yeah, grief and loss. So for some of you, there is a sense of closure here with this Eight of Cups, right? The devil energy, the ways that things used to be. Some of you could have been feeling like, you know, wow, I've been going through this major transformation in my life. You could have been going through grief and loss for quite some time. This could have been months, years. So just to know that that phase is coming to an end. There's change. There is the light here. So, all right, I'm going to close this up with three cards from this love deck. Grim Reaper, relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. All right, and... Hand of cards, taking a chance or a risk, ace of wands, right? Being strategic, options, not showing hands, gambling, we have acts, breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment. So acts, it's about stopping the pattern, that devil energy, not going back to that, creating a shift. Some of you could be going through or have gone through this separation, a breakup, you've been dealing with healing from that. But look at this boat energy. Receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues. So there is this moving on, there is this closure, the end of a tough cycle approaching. I really love this energy. Dreams coming through, 
and coming true for you. Three of Cups, that support, community, people around you that are going to help bring you to the next phase. I hope you guys have an amazing month ahead. If you're interested in any of my services or you want to follow me on Instagram or Facebook, all that information is posted in the description box below. Take care.